it's Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. As usual, I'll show you how to get in. We'll see who took out the top prize as well, but uh, you want to click get started slash practice and then go down to exclusive tournaments and then uh, search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands under view all tournaments. But, uh, taking out the top spot is who dealt this rubbish plus 26 Nicholas M in second with plus 24. And a lot of people tied for third. JR Ladder, M Mount Berry, Michael, Dan M, Van Zayton, plus 22. Well done to all of you. Uh, let's jump in, see what we can actually do. Okay, so five clubs from partner. I do not have a bit over that, so we'll just pass. Okay, King of Hearts, looks like I'm gonna lose a heart. I'm gonna lose a couple of clubs. I'm going to lose a diamond. Um, hey David, thanks for coming in. I see very little ways to reduce my losers. I can hope for a singleton King of Diamonds. I can finesse a club. So I've got uh, eight clubs opposite singleton. I could lead a club towards the Jack or a club towards the King. Uh, that's just sort of a straight up guess. But we're just going to go down here. Um, I'm just going to go up and lead a club. I really don't have much to go on. I'll... Okay, I've got something to go on. I think I'll play low. I think that's the, the wise choice. Um, I really don't think that they have the king of diamonds. So we'll just play low, see if there's a singleton king. Uh, there's not. Uh, I'll actually just lead a heart here. The reason for this is... Um, I want them not to know what my final card is necessarily. They should know. Okay. Uh, they're, they're going to know. <laughs> like the Jack of Diamonds got led. So, um, two less. So five clubs down two. Okay. I lose one imp. Some people have their settings to preempt four clubs. Uh, flat 12 count, just pass. Spade or no trump, three spades. Okay. Three no or pass. So spades are like six one. My partner's on lead and we've got 12 points. Dummy has, there's two, so that's 11, 17, and my 12 is 29. 11 points, it's like six and five, or... Uh, the main thing worth noting here is West probably doesn't have too many entries to their hand. So my partner led the three of clubs, so it looks like clubs are five, five. Um, if my partner's got the ace of hearts, we might be able to do something. Ditch to diamond. The club. And another club. All right. So here. Um, first of all, West didn't do a hold up play, which to me suggests that they're not worried about clubs. Uh, if my partner had like Jack Niner clubs, I'd really expect that West might do something different other than winning the Ace of Clubs. Uh, if I play a heart to the my partner's Ace and they return a heart, uh, we've maybe got some ability to beat this. So I'm hoping for like two hearts and two diamonds. I suspect I'll get end played somewhere, um, but. I reckon hoping partner's got the ace of hearts is probably the best chance of beating this. Okay. Doubt they're gonna finesse. Yeah. Okay. And I'll just exit a club and Flatboard. Some people managed to get their opponents to stop in two clubs. I think that's rather impressive. Did they do anything? Please don't tell me they made a take-up double. 
Uh, here with four card spades, making a takeout double did not remotely occur to me. And I really am shocked that it goes takeout double, two clubs, and then East is like, okay, I've done enough. Um, but yeah, not a big fan of the takeout double, even though it worked. Okay, flat 11 count, but we're favorable. So I'll open a diamond. Hearts, that's just a bit of no trump. Here we are. Okay, so partner's got 10 points. Uh, I can build some tricks in diamonds. Um, I've got three hearts. I can maybe build three diamonds and get a club. Uh, this will be relatively slow. Probably should have played a low club there and just hoped they put in the nine, the 10 or jack. Like, I can play to try and block up the suit, but I have to let them in enough times that uh, I'll just uh, play low there. Afford one heart. Uh, I can afford a diamond here, but my entry to this hand might get a bit awkward. And... Okay, so I've set up my diamonds. Uh, I'm going down from here. Um, there's one heart, and th they're just going to get the final trick. So down one. Don't think there was anything I could do. What if I played on spades or something? Hearts are three, three, so I can get four hearts and a club is five. Saying it down four, uh, four minus four imps. Other people did make it. Oh, so other lots of people made it. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. All right, let's check this out. They opened one diamond and rebid two diamonds and then accepted an invite. Whoa. They got a club lead and they played low, much better play. Uh, that gives you a lot better prospect. My nine of clubs was sloppy, so. I went straight into hearts and ditched a spade. And now they tried diamonds. Got the clubs right. Got the spades right. They elected to then play another spade and this hand then put the queen on. Snuck over there. Oh, that is a magical. That, that's beautiful. All right. Three spades, and I got 15 points. Uh, I feel like my partner's vulnerable. So if I've got ace king to seven, uh, we might make four spades. I'm also wondering about three no. If I've got ace king to seven spades, Maybe we'll get two aces and seven spades. I think three no is a pretty reasonable bet here. Four spades might need like a finesse to work. Beautiful. Yeah, so here like four spades. You've got like a club loser. You got a few heart losers. Like you'd probably make it here, um, but three no just Seven spade tricks, assuming they're not four zero and my two aces. Seem great. Um, so I'm up to 10. And the question is, uh, I, I could consider ducking this. I think it's probably worthwhile because I'm not going to risk taking a finesse here, but it improves my chances with squeezes here. So we'll duck that and now I'll take a spade. They're not 4-0. I'm just going to untangle my king of hearts because the ending that I'm going to come down to is I want the jacker. <laughs> okay, um, I've got the rest here. Um, the ending I was going to come down to was the jacker hearts here and the jacker diamonds and have the ace queen. And if this player had the queen of hearts and the king of diamonds, they were going to get uh, squeezed. But we just dropped the Dalton queen, ace queen. So, yeah, uh, that was all good.
You wonder about the seven of diamonds. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to uh, ever take a finesse, so the prospects there weren't, weren't fantastic. Plus two imps. Uh, some people just played three spades. Lots of people just bid four spades. You can make six spades. That's... I guess the trumps allow some prospect there for extra tricks, but I was just worried that we might lose. Like, I felt like 3 0 was a safer game contract, but uh, moving on to board number five. Uh, we'll bid one no trump. I've got just a 10 count and I'm passing. I'm not going to invite here. I'm pretty pessimistic about inviting in general, so keep it low. Uh, we got two spade losers and a diamond, no clubs, and like two or three hearts. Um, given time, I might be able to throw something away on clubs. I might just duck this first round just to maybe cause some entry uh, communication issues. And hearts, I want to utilize this queen. So I'm just going to play a queen. And now we're missing the jack nine. Worth taking note of that. Ooh, okay, great. Um, so I haven't managed to get into spades yet. So my queen of diamonds can throw a spade. So I just want to draw another round of trumps and then up to the club and throw the spade away. And then given the chance, I will go back to clubs and see if hearts are 3-3. Beautiful. So making nine. <laughs> didn't like me double claiming. So I tried claiming when they were uh, trying to concede and that had a little hissy fit there. Um, yeah, so importantly here, uh, one of the key features of this, not that it mattered on this one, they had plenty of access here, was just ducking this first spade. If West had five spades and East had two, uh, ducking that first spade uh, cuts communication a bit between them, makes life a bit harder for it. But uh, plus four. Other people going down? Three no trumps. Okay, so they're just uh, inviting here. Um, as I said, or game forcing that one too. Um, with 10 counts, I am very hesitant to try and invite here. Um, so I don't think you want to push that hard. So I don't try and, ooh, can I invite game? I'm like, oh, I really stretch to try and bid game. And I'm cautious to sort of inch in towards inviting. Okay, 16, nice easy one no trump, one no three no. Okay, well, we're gonna get a club on the lead. We've got four hearts and two spades is six. Uh, we wanna build tricks in diamonds, so just take a diamond finesse it looks like, and just hope they don't get too many club tricks. Um, or the diamond finesse works. Okay, so I want to keep an eye out for the ten of diamonds as well. Do they follow? They don't. Okay, so I'm down. Um, I wonder if I could have ducked that opening. Ducking the opening ones like an interesting ploy. Not sure it was a good ploy, but it might have worked. So if you duck the opening club, West can't continue. So you still need to try and get your tricks somewhere. Um, but let's say we've got three spades, four hearts and a diamond. Nah. So the other way I could make this is guess the spades, just like play a heart to the king, spade to the 10, which seems a bit ridiculous. So I think going down in three, no, is fine. A uh, whole chunk of people made it. Um, Queen of clubs, they ducked the opening lead. And now there you go, ace of clubs club. Okay, so like ducking the opening club lead is okay. Uh, worth consideration, but if they just switch, it doesn't uh, gain you much. And like if the ace of clubs is offside, can cost, but worked well here, is okay play. Uh, yeah, moving on to board seven. One no trump. Three clubs. This is a transfer to diamonds. Okay, cool. 
Three spades. They have shortness in hearts. Hmm. I got like a decent hand for my partner. I got four diamonds. That king of hearts is completely wasted. Um, and I don't have enough other aces. So I feel like this is just a three no trump contract. This is not a usual convention that I'd play. I'd usually just bid the shortage I have here. So I'd be usually bidding three hearts to say, hey, I've got six diamonds and a singleton heart. Um, oops, sorry. I'll bid three nine. Um, often I like to think, can we get to slam? And I just didn't think I had enough aces here. And they didn't lead a heart. I've got five diamonds, three spades. We'll need to build tricks and clubs anyway. Um, so let's win that and just go straight into this. Uh, worth noting, we have the beer card. I'm pro I have, I have hope. Okay. I have very good hope. Uh, so we'll just stick to club. Let's untangle this and then just ace of diamonds. And yep, diamonds aren't four zero. Untangled that and beautiful. We got the beer card and everything. It's always nice to get one under your belt. <laughs> no, I don't want to end the deal now. Beautiful. 11 tricks. Okay, we got plus three. So we're minus two overall. Um, yeah, I guess board six is like the only one that I feel a bit dicey about. Uh, board one, I could have played a bit better as well. But uh, let's see if we can finish positive. Lap five count. Well, okay. Club, a heart, two spades, three diamonds, fourth suit forcing, three no. Well, I got nothing here. Um, I could lead the fourth suit and just lead the queen of diamonds. That's fine. Uh, East almost certainly has a shortage in hearts. Um, so there's some chance my partner's got hearts. I think a heart lead's fine. Queen of diamonds is fine. Let's just see the effect of uh, trying a heart. Okay. Not so good. Not so good at all. My partner's still got nine thirds, so. Oh, they don't have any entries. Great. That they have entries. Don't worry about that. They did have a shortage, so uh, it was really just uh, so diamond lead would have worked out to a treat. Minus five. So some people beat this contract. Um, importantly here, West isn't necessarily showing a five card heart suit. Um, so you could easily find your partner with five hearts and just be leading through strength and nothing there. Um, Queen of Diamonds works out remarkably well. I wonder if they can still beat it if we duck that first heart. What do they got? They can get four clubs, four spades, a heart. No. They can make even more tricks. So, yeah, a diamond lead for the win. But uh, I think a heart's very promising as well. Didn't work out today. Most people... Most... I'm surprised most people uh, had that beaten as well. I oh, didn't beat it. Yeah, like th this sort of play just, they've 
I've got five tricks. It seems routine to beat it on a diamond lead. I thought not that many people would lead hearts. I thought most people would lead diamonds there. Um, but diamond and a heart, I think, are both promising. Diamond worked out remarkably well. Anyway, uh, that was this week's uh, Funbridge tournament. Not too much success. I did get a beer card, though. Always good to get one of those. Um, but uh, board five, partner preempted a bit much. Board three. Um, this is just where I put in the nine of clubs. And it is, it is better to play low. So that cost a trick. Uh, here, board six. Um, this one's interesting about ducking it. Like cutting communication versus not being able to get an entry. Like if West had led the queen from ace, queen, jack, fourth. Uh, do I have, like, is clubs my only danger here? Probably is better to duck it. But it's one of these ones where if they just go, okay, let's just switch, then I'm another trick shy. But I can probably, given time, get three diamonds, four hearts, and two spades anyway. So I think ducking that is a good play, so I got punished there accordingly. And then board eight, I found the wrong lead, but I think it's an interesting uh, choice there. So not my best work, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this Funbridge tournament. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.